Hey everyone, welcome back to the Big Tech channel. Today I have a tutorial on how to root your Nexus player running Android 8.0.0 Oreo. So one of the things that I used to use was the Nexus root toolkit and it looks like the developer of this app might have stopped development because when you click on update, you get a message click on automatic update and you get it and that's the message you get it says cannot access the update server what I'm gonna tell you is how I, I accomplished root on my Nexus player running Android Oreo 8.0.0 and let me show you that this is running I don't know if you can see that version 8.0 the build the build is opr2.170623.027 so i went to a few forums i collected what i wanted what i needed and my recommendation is this is my little checklist right here on what i needed to do and how i did it how i accomplished it um you need to have developer mode turned on on your device for a purpose of time, I'm not gonna go into that. You need to have developer mode. You need to be sure that you enable this device to talk to the computer. You, you will see a MAC address uh, pop up and you have to check it once you enable USB debugging. You're gonna need the Android uh, drivers, the pure Android drivers. You're gonna need the Super SU zip file and you're gonna need the Android platform tools and you're gonna need twerp. Now, surprisingly, I used the twerp uh, 3.2.1.0 Fugu, which is the one that was for the previous version of Android and it worked fine. So, um, once you've installed the drivers, I copied everything I needed into a folder in C, and this is on the Windows 10, so Mac users, sorry, I don't have a Mac, so I can't, but there are videos on how you can accomplish this on Mac. So, I copied the driver, into uh, the same folder so when I open a command prompt, I can um, easily access everything I need. So the first thing I did was I installed the drivers. Um, there was a file in there called install. I right click on it and I clicked installed and that took care of the actual installation of the drivers. Um, so once the drivers were installed, the first thing you need to do is you need to put your Nexus player into uh, recovery mode or bootloader mode, I believe. And there's a way to do it through the ADB uh, console. However, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I'm going to simplify it for you. So as you can see, the device is on. What you, you need to do is you unplug it. And there you go, the, sh the TV shut off. And make sure that you have yours connected to your TV so you can see what's going on. You will need to unplug the OTG device that you have, the OTG cable, and I have a little hub here going on so I can get um, a LAN connection rather than Wi-Fi. So what you do is you hold down the power button and then you plug it in. And when, when you see the LED start blinking, you let it go. And then you, you, you wait for it to boot into, here we go. So in order for you to go to the different, to recovery, to download mode, or whatever the different um, options you have is, you click really quick on the button and watch, this is gonna switch the status. Recovery mode, restart bootloader, normal boot. So we want to go into recovery. So what you do is you hold it and you count one, two, three, four, and you let it go. And then it's going to come back and it's going to go into recovery. As you can see, I have twerp. I was able to install twerp. Now, my, the goal of this video is to show you how to get twerp on this and get to this point. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna reboot. Um, if you have a keyboard and mouse, 
it's very important that you have a keyboard and mouse connected to your device so you can navigate around and, and you know, be able to uh, So I'm going to reboot and I'm going to go into bootloader. Now, when you're in bootloader mode, what you want to do is you open a command prompt window. You know what? Let me just do this from, from the beginning. You go into start, you write command. You don't need to have elevator rights. It, I, I did it with normal rights. And then you navigate to where you copied your ADB tools. And then you type in fast boot devices. You want to see if you want to see if your device is detected. Now, obviously, the reason why my device isn't listed is because I haven't connected it to the laptop itself. So I also recommend that you use a good quality micro USB cable. Otherwise, if you have the one that came with the device itself, I would recommend that you use that. So I'm going to disconnect my hub from the OTG cable. I'm going to connect the actual micro USB. And once I connect the micro USB, I'm going to plug it into the laptop. And that means that it detected it. I already had the drivers installed. Um, so now I'm going to type again, fast boot devices. There it is. So now in order for me to flash, I'm going to type this in. Fast boot, flash, recovery, and then you you need to specify the path of where that twerp image is located. You could drag and drop it or whatnot, but this is exactly how you type it in. Your mileage may vary depending on where you copied it, and then you hit enter. And it's sending recovery, and if you look at the, the, the screen, you have to see you know that it says okay okay once you see that you know you're good you know that it flashed if you see an error you try over again maybe there was something wrong so now what you want to do is now you want to go onto your device and go into recovery mode and the reason why you want to do this is because you want to copy your super su into the actual Nexus player so you can flash it into your uh, Nexus player and get root. And the way you do that is now you click and, and you click on the uh, power button on your Nexus player until you see recovery mode. You were, you were in normal boot, you go into recovery mode and then you hold the button and you count to maybe four, like four seconds. One, two, three, four. You let it go. You get the Google screen. Um, I think it goes without saying that you need to have an unlocked bootloader in order for you to be able to, to root your device. And there it is. This is the twerp 3.2.1.0. It still works. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the Super SU into the internal storage of the Nexus player. If you click on here, you see that this is all the folders inside your Nexus player. So as you can see, I already have the, uh, the Super SU on there. I'm just gonna delete it. So I can show you how I copied it over, real simple. I opened up a Explorer window. I went into ADB, which is where, and if you notice here, it shows a device 
when you've installed your drivers correctly, you, you'll definitely see um, the Nexus player on your um, device list as a valid device. So now I'm gonna go into ADB because that's where I copy my Super SU. I'm gonna take my Super SU, I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm just gonna paste it into my in, into the root folder of my Nexus player. As you can see, we're here, Nexus player internal storage. So I'm gonna paste. It's there. So now, once I know that that's copied into my Nexus player, now I'm gonna disconnect the USB cable from the actual Nexus player, and I'm gonna connect back my OTG cable, which is connected to a hub, which is connected to the keyboard mouse combination that I have here. So I'm gonna disconnect it. You'll, you'll, you'll hear Windows acknowledge the disconnection. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my OTG cable with the hub. And you should see a mouse pop up as soon as it detects it. There it is, see the mouse? So now I can move my mouse around, let's see. So now what I wanna do is I wanna install that zip file that I just copied into the root. So what I'll do is I'll click on install. If you have a mouse, you can, you can uh, use the mouse if that helps. And if you look in the root, this is why it's important to copy it in the root of your memory card, because that'll make it that much more easier to find. And then what you do is you double click or you tap on the actual file. So here it's gonna ask you, um, whether you want to flash, reboot after installation is complete, zip signature verification. Right now, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe to confirm flash, and it's gonna start flashing. It's only gonna take a few seconds. And if everything goes well and there's no errors, it should go all the way to the end and it should say, uh, done. It's gonna ask you, do you want to wipe your Dalvik cache, the reboot system? Just so you know, I did not have to wipe my device. I did not lose my data or my configuration when I did this. And that's why I'm showing you the steps that I took to, to um, flash root. So I just reboot system. Now, remember, keep in mind, there are tutorials out there on how to get your device into Android uh, developer mode. Everything you need, these are the links to the actual location for the Super SU and the platform tools. Um, the pure Android drivers are also located in the, um, the same location where the platform tools are. Uh, there's a link for drivers. Um, you need to make sure you your device in developer mode. I can't stress that enough. Uh, allow access to the device. Um, and, and that's it. Now, once your device is booted up, you should see root. And one of the things that I, you could install root checker, I don't have root checker, even though I guess it installed its own uh, version. So what I have is I have side loader and I have reboot Android TV and TV boot. This is one of the reasons why I have, I, I want root because I wanna be able to reboot from here. I have side loader installed and here I have some apps I have advanced YouTube as I showed you before and some of the other apps now I'm gonna go back and to show you that I have root I'm gonna use TV boot to reboot the device See, I did, I did nothing. Uh, it just did it on its own. So I hope this tutorial helps some of you out there. I've seen some of the forums, people frustrated trying to get their device um, rooted 
uh, considering downgrading. Now that the Nexus root toolkit is not working or development stopped, um, maybe this method will help you. Um, if it does, like and subscribe, you know, share this video anywhere you think it might be helpful. And um, let me know how it worked out. So, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you guys out. And if you and if it does, like and subscribe.